Good morning, class. How are you? Well, I hope all of my students are in the pink of health. Well, can you tell me what is the day for today? Good job. Today is Thursday. Can you tell me the day for today? Good job. It's 9th of September, 2021. Well, today we're going to learn about Unit 8, a holiday. Alright, so we're going to look at the content standards for today's lesson. This is the content standards. And this is the learning standards for today's class. Okay, so now we're going to look at the lesson objective for today. And this is the success criteria for today's class. Well, are you ready to start the class? Good job! So, this is the table of contents for today's lesson. We are going to look at number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, and number 5. Well, now, first and foremost, we are going to look at what is number 1. Number 1 is Miss Soleha is at the overseas. Wow! It's a video! Well, without further ado, let's watch a video. Well, before I play the video, I would like you all to pay full attention to the video. Don't worry, it will be short and interesting and it will be useful for you all to complete your next task. One, two, three. Boom! Hi, my name is Miss Soleha. Currently, I am at Oxford. I choose to come to Oxford because I love shopping. In Oxford, I need a guidebook and I also need some money. Hi! Now I am at the Lake District. I choose Lake District because I love to camping. Well, in Lake District, we need an insect spray, sun cream, and a tent. Well, now I'm hungry, so I need to set up the fire. Bye-bye. Well, so that is the video of me having my holiday in overseas. Alright, so in the video, I did mention a few words that is uh, important for the holiday for example the name of the place and the name of the things that we need to bring for the holiday well if you can catch up the name of the place and the name of the things that i mentioned in the video i would like you all to comment the words in the comment section all right so without further ado Let's get started to learn about the sightseeing in Oxford. Alright, so I am going to go through the text within the alphabet order. Okay, A, B, C, and D. Alright, so I would like you all to repeat after me. Where you stay. A modern hotel. Okay, B. What you do. Walk the beautiful all streets of this historic city. Visit museums and Oxford University Colleges. You're doing great. Okay, now I'm going to proceed with C. In your free time, Take photographs of the colleges. Visit the university parks. Go punting on the river. Buy presents in the covered market. 
and shops. Eat ice cream at GMDs. Alright, so before I proceed with D, I would like you all to um I would like to ask you all whether or not you know. Well, before I proceed with a D, I would like to ask you all, do you know the meaning of panting? The word that I've bold. Panting. Well, if you know the meaning of panting, I would like you all to pause this video and then write the meaning of the word. Okay? If you do not know the meaning of the word, then I will explain for you all the meaning of the word. Alright, so basically, panting is originated from the word pant. Okay, pant is the name of the book, this book. Okay, so this is pant. Alright, so go panting is the activity of going on the boat in the river. So that is panting. Okay. And then ice cream at G and D's. What is the meaning of G and D's? So G and D's is George and Davis. Is it is very famous uh, ice cream shops in Oxford. Well, if we uh, happen to have the chance to visit Oxford, make sure George and Davis will be one of our food destination. All right. So D number one. Repeat after me. Guidebook. Good job. Number two. Money for shopping. Good job. Number three. Walking shoes. Camera. Waterproofs. Sun cream. Sunglasses. Right. So basically, this is what we will need in. Oxford. There will be more of things that you need, okay? You have to decide the things that you will need in during visiting Oxford, alright? Bear in mind that there is no right or wrong answer. It's fully based on your preferences and your needs, okay? If you're able to state the um, acceptable reason of your things to bring for the holiday and the reason of bringing it, you actually are doing a great job all right so next climbing in the lake districts good job so i'm going to proceed uh, to go through the text okay a repeat after me where you stay at a campsite b what you do Walk in the hills, climb mountains. In your free time, take photographs, go swimming, and horse riding. Cook your own food on a campfire. All right. And then, this is basically uh, the things that you can do during your free time in Lake District. Okay, and in Lake District, you can walk in the hills, climb mountains, and other adventurous activity that will excite you. Alright, and in Lake, in Lake District, you have to stay in campsite. So, if you love nature, like Miss Oleha in the video just now, you can choose to come to Lake District, okay? So now we're going to proceed with the things that we need, what you need, okay? So number one, waterproofs. Good job. Number two, sun cream. Number three, sunglasses. Number four, climbing shoes. Of course, you need climbing shoes if you want to if you wanna climb the mountains, okay? If you can uh, differentiate the climbing shoes uh, compared to other shoes, climbing shoes, it, had, it has a band, band shape like that. So that you can easily grip, grip on the 
stones and on the on any surfaces. All right. Number six. Eh, sorry, number five. Tent. Number six. Sleeping bag. Number seven. Rock sack. You should pronounce pronounce this word rock sack, not rock sack. It's rock sack. Okay. Rock sack. Okay. Number eight. Insect spray. Good job. Insect spray. All right. So, based on both of the texts, okay, which is sightseeing in Oxford and also uh, climbing in the Lake District, this is the moral value that you can learn from the text, which is number 15, rationality. Okay, 15.3, you have to be open-minded and you have to be able to think logically. Okay, as a student, this moral value is very, very pertinent for you all. Okay, so in order to visit the places, you have to determine and you have to identify the things that you need to bring for the holiday. All right, so in order to be able to uh, identify the things that you need to bring for the holiday, you need to train your mind to be open-minded, okay, open-minded to accept all the weather that is going to happen and is going to be on the overseas, okay, you have to be open-minded and you have to accept any kind of circumstances and weather, for example, and you have to able to think logically, which is, for example, you need to able to think logically and identify um, appropriately the things that you need to bring if you're visiting Oxford and the things that you need to bring if you're visiting Lake District. Bear in mind that both of these places are completely different places and you might need different things to accommodate in these places, okay? But they're also... Uh, there are also uh, the same things that you need to bring, but not all, okay? For example, um, you might need waterproof in Oxford and you might also need waterproof and this in Lake Districts, but you might not need uh, insect spray in Oxford, okay? You But you may need it in Lake Districts because it's surrounded with forests, all right? Because you're camping in Lake Districts, so the... They got many insects there, all right? Compared to Oxford, Oxford is more towards a town, um, not town actually, it's a, it's a city. So you can find less insects there. So you don't need to bring insect spray in Oxford. So that is why I I said that you have to be rational, you have to be open-minded, you have to be able to think logically, all right? So uh, before, before we have to reach this rationality okay be before we reach this open-minded and able to think logically to to visit all of these places we have to work hard okay maybe uh, in future you will have a business in overseas so you have to think logically to bring different things for different places if you're visiting your your business in overseas for example all right so in a nutshell, we have to work very hard. We have to um, learn every day. We have to be, we have to not to easily give up. All right. We have to work hard and work smart to be able to visit all of these places that we have learned. All right. It's very, very interesting to learn from other culture because actually um, in life, we can never stop learning. All right. Every day, there will be a new things, new words. Okay, for example, in English context, every day there will be new words and new uh, new knowledge for you all. For example, Tuesday, there's no words uh, such as uh, internet citizen, you know, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, data, okay. Those days... No, no such words like this exist. Okay. So because, well, because of the revolution and globalization of the internet that we're using right now, and in fact, everyone is using it. Okay. There comes a new word. So you have to, um, be ready and be prepared. Okay. You have to bear in mind that you have to, uh, become a person that 
um, that will uh, sustain the lifelong learning and entrepreneurship skill okay you have to be able to grab the chance to well uh become like entrepreneur even if you don't want to be like in if you even if your ambition is different you don't want to be entrepreneur but your attitude okay your your behavior need to be like entrepreneur okay entrepreneur will grab the chance or create the chance and uh they're very proactive all right so you have to be very very smart diligent like entrepreneur all right and then you have to learn every day all right so in order so after you have done all that okay with god wills you will become a successful person all right so that is where you have to uh, apply the rationality of a mind and able to think logically even before you reach that level you also have to apply that thing in every situation all right you have to be open-minded okay you have to accept any challenges you have to able to think logically all right don't act uh, according to your emotion all right so that is the moral value for today's okay so now we're going to look at the vocabulary all right this is the vocabulary for today okay all of the vocabulary for today's is nouns all right noun is the name of the name of place things or objects all right so we're going to spell the the nouns together the vocabulary together number one can you tell me what is the word that i need to write for number one Good job, G. Okay, second one, E. And the third one is O. It's a guidebook. And number two. Well, can you tell me what is the alphabet that I need to write here? Good job, O. And this one, E. All right. And then this one is a is a shoe. All right. W walking walking shoes. This one is H S H O E S walking shoes. All right. This one camera. I need to replace. I need to add C. And this one is E, camera, C-A-M-E-R-A, -E camera. All right. And then number five. Number five. Can you tell me the alphabet that I need to write here? Good job, W. And then this one. Good job, T. And then this one, water. Proof P R O O F S. Mm, this one, sun. How to spell sun? S U N. Cream. How to spell cream? C R E A M. All right. Next, sunglasses. All right. How to spell sunglasses? S U N G L A S S E S. Good job. And then what is this? It's a it's a ten. Okay. T E. How to spell ten? T E and t okay okay before we finish all the vocabulary i would like you all to focus to pay attention towards the vocabulary towards the noun because after this we're going to play an activity that involves all of this vocabulary all right number nine it's a climbing shoes all right how to spell climbing shoes c l i m b i n g s h o e s climbing shoes good job 
All right, and then number 10, sleeping bag. How to spell sleeping bag? S-L-E-E-P-I-N-G, sleeping bag. B-A-G, good job. And then second last, number 11, rucksack. How to spell rucksack? R-U-C-K. S A C K rock sack number twelve insect spray I N S okay I N S E insect spray S P R A Y insect spray all right so we've covered all of the vocabularies which is noun the spelling. Okay, and after this, we're going to play a game involving all of this vocabulary. Okay, before that, we're going to look through the sentence pattern. Alright, so this is the sentence pattern for today. Number one, repeat after me. Which holiday is best for people who like sports? Okay. So, if you found this kind of sentence pattern in question, you have to answer back in four sentences. Rewrite the question to answer the question. Okay, for example, the best holiday. Okay, for example, the question is which holiday is best for people who like sports? So, your answer should be the best holiday for people who like sports is, all right? So, you have to answer it between um, Lake District or Oxford, all right? And then number two, the sentence pattern is, which holiday is best for people who enjoy art? Okay, so your answer should be like, the best holiday, take back the question, the best holiday for people who enjoy art is, right? And then the third sentence pattern, number three, what items will you bring if you want to visit Lake District or Oxford? Okay, so this is merely the sentence pattern. If you found a sentence or question like this, it will ask you either Lake District or Oxford. Alright, so uh, depends on the uh, location, depends on the destination. Okay, you have to decide what items you need to bring. Alright, so your answer should be like this. Items, items that I will bring if I want to visit Lake District or Oxford, all right? Or then list your, write your items that you need to bring, all right? And then number four, which holiday do you think is the most interesting and why? Okay, so this comes the hot, which is higher order thinking skill, all right? So you have to decide which holiday destination is your favorite, which is the most interesting in your opinion, because I think, all right? And then you have to state your own reason, all right? So I think the most interesting holiday is, you have to choose uh, either Lake Districts or Oxford. You have to choose one, and then you state the reason why you think the destination is interesting, all right? Write your answer because, all right. Uh, if you notice in the video that I showed you at the initial part of the class, I actually mentioned the reason that you can use uh, as an example to create your own. All right, don't use mine. I would like you all to create your very own reason. All right. Well, here has come the fun part of the lesson, which is charade, all right? So, uh, here goes the plan. I will um, give you all five vocabulary that we have learned just now, okay? So, I will do the action of the vocabulary, all right? And what you have to do is you have to guess the vocabulary, okay? List your vocabulary, one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, write your answers in the comment section. Okay, so I will pick the winner. The answers with um, the highest frequency of correct answer will be the 
winner. All right. So uh, this is actually a team kind of game. Okay. Uh, I will divide the class into two teams, which is boys team and girls team. Okay. If the boys manage to um, any uh, gender, okay. If the boys or the girls manage to uh, answer the question or give the able to state the answers correctly with the highest frequency of correct answer will be the winner okay i will announce the winner in the whatsapp group all right so make sure uh you do well all right uh focus on my action all right and then write your answers in the comment section below all right let's get started Well, are you able to guess all of the words? If yes, write your answers in the comment section below. All right. all right, so in this section, you get to unleash your writing skill. We are going to look at the Google form that I've created. And no worries, I will guide you on how you can complete the task in the Google form. All right. So this is the Google form, which is your task for today's. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, read the questions carefully and write the correct answers. All right, you'll fill in your name, okay, your full name. And then what item, question number one, what items will you bring if you want to visit Lake Districts? Okay, so you have to answer in full sentences, okay. The items that... I will bring if I want to visit Lake District or, okay, for example, attend um, and more. Okay, you decide your own. And then number two, similar, similar with number one, all right, use this sentence pattern. And also, you can refer the sentence pattern that we've learned, okay? Similar, the same one, all right? And then number three, uh, which holiday is best for people who like sports? Well, uh, rewrite the question to answer this question, all right? And then, you have to decide which holiday is best for the one who likes sports, all right? And then number four, who enjoy arts? Which holiday destination you think it's suitable for people who enjoy art? All right. And then number five, you have to uh, state the most interesting holiday and then why. All right. So that is the task for you all today. And then submit your task. All right. Uh, no worries. I'll provide this uh, link of the Google form in the description below. And then I'll also provide the link in the whatsapp group all right so now um we're going to summarize 
the lesson for today. All right. All right. So now we're going to summarize the lesson for today. Okay. In our Okay, so now we're going to summarize the lesson for today. I would like you all to list uh, as much as the words that you have learned today as well as sentences that you have learned in the today's lesson in the comment section. All right. Well, we're going to look through again, okay, but in a quick, in a quick manner, all right. Uh, number one, guidebook. Number two, money. Number three, walking shoes. Number four, camera. Number five, waterproofs. Number six, sun cream. Uh, number seven, sunglasses. Number eight, tents. Number nine, climbing shoes. Number ten, sleeping bag. Number eleven, rope sack. Number twelve, insect spray. So this is the sentence pattern that you can refer for today's uh, task. All right, and this is also the sentence pattern. All right, bear in mind that all of these are very, very useful for you all in the future and also in order for you all to answer the question. All right, so remember, bear in mind the moral value for today's class is you have to be rational, you have to work hard, you have to think logically. All right, so that is the um, lesson for today's class. Till we meet again in the next class. All right. Thank you, thank you very much for attending the class and watch the video until the end. I highly appreciated your efforts and your focus, alright? So, till we meet again in the next class, stay safe, don't give up, we're all in this together, alright? So, this is the uh, resource references that I use for today's class, alright? So, till we meet again, bye-bye! All right, for the remaining time, I will give you all plenty time to complete your work, okay? Um, answer it very carefully and then send to me. Uh, just click the button submit, okay? And then I will check your answers, all right? And don't forget to comment in the comment section below, all right? Bye-bye.